Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on GTA 5 with some more racing. Yes, we are going to go racing with the wonderful club, essentially the golf. Oh, we got initial start line. I like the start line race we've got going on. Foxy's ended up in the wall. <laughs> we've got our own little. We've got our own little. Uh, racetrack going on here uh, I guess as we come out the pit lane here we're gonna be probably on to the probably be going I should think by about that point oh it's a bit of a wobbly way to start however sure why not we'll go for this I think someone's already stuck away at the front it would be Chris well we're gonna be a long way back to see what car we are <laughs> we are last from this one but that's fine uh, we will I'm sure work our way back up through the field at some point, some way or another, do what we can. Um, we'll just wait for someone to karma the grey car off at the front. Uh, this is looking like a more technical circuit than some of the ones that uh, that we have driven. These are great cars for uh, technical circuits, shall we say. The Golf is one of the more fun cars to, to drive in this game. Uh, I'm so used to the one I have having a ridiculous body kit and a crazy wing on the back of it. It's weird driving it when it's actually like the normal vehicle. I think these are the fastest of the compacts. I think they're quicker than the Fiat 500 thing, and they're a lot, a lot nicer to drive than that twitchy bugger. Oh, can we get out the inside here? Yes, we can. We might even get the inside of a couple of cars. Be careful not to jump too far there and miss a checkpoint. Oh! <laughs> we very, very nearly got rolled over in all of that one unintentionally. Uh, it just so happened. Oh, God, I have to, the don't, don't know the circuit, don't know how tight the corners are going to be around some of these places. Uh, right, we go over this way, and that is a lap around this circuit. It's a difficult track in some ways to overtake on by the looks of it. All right, it looks like uh, Chris's punishment was to go through the pit lane. Stinty was climbing over the wall. Uh, that's a good start of the lap for them. We're up to ninth. I mean, we've had a very good start to this race. We've stayed out of trouble. We've picked up pieces where we can. I would say stayed out of trouble mostly. There's one bit where we're on, almost rolled over in the tunnel, but otherwise we have stayed out of trouble. Uh, quite uh, quite well. Can I get a good slingshot up this hill here? Maybe? Maybe we can get to the inside. Oh, there's going to be a gold car looking the long way around. We will make that pass stick. Takes me a little bit of a funky line for this next corner, but we've made it all work. We'll bobble some curbs down here, and we are up into an eighth place. Now, as I've said many times before when doing these, I'm more than happy to work with just about anybody at this, at this point in the race. There's no point us having a ridiculous fight over eighth on the second lap of the race. I'd much rather we all work together and try and catch up the lead group. There seem to be two, two, and then a three, and then there's us lot uh, back here, kind of more in a gaggle, uh, rather than uh, separated little groups. So we're about to make this five cars for whatever position number uh, we are <laughs> fighting over, but that's fine. We're going to get a really big run, I think, down here. Uh, we're going to get Citrina Brazen. Oh, although that's going to be... That's just asking for trouble. I wanted to have a dive to the inside. I thought, well... There was space. There's so many cars around that had we tried to make that one work, we were just going to get into a world of pain. Oh, that's cars trying to cut back underneath each other and fronts of cars getting caught with rears of cars. This is the stuff that we want to try and avoid if we can. Uh, we don't really want to be wasting time doing this. We're going to get a move down on Brazen through there. We've got a lovely run all the way through that corner. Come on, don't fail me now, Slipstream. It has. Bugger. I was hoping you had to get to the inside of Stevie through that next corner. We couldn't quite do it. Still, we follow the purple car through all of this. I've got no slipstream going on to help me, but we are basically at the lead group now. This is the bit that matters in many ways. Uh, oh, there goes the back end again on this car. We'll jump to the inside. That'll be a pass for position. We're up to fifth, and we are now right on the tail end of the lead group. We'll get slipstream off of Liam's machine here. That's what we like. Can I do anything with it, though? Not uh, at the moment. The bump between second and third. We actually gave Liam's car a little bit of a bump. Glisco runs wide through all of that. Uh, can we do... Well, I mean, there's not much space to go really anywhere down here. Uh, Ladder's going to have a good draft on the cars ahead, and they can make it three wide oh, into turn one. Uh, is it, now, now we're starting to get to the point where we're, we're in traffic. We can't overtake one car at a time, well, because there's too many cars around. So you try and dive past one, you end up in the back of somebody else. Liam might have left the door open for me to get a pass on Lado. May have left the door open for me to get a pass on Liam themselves as well, and we will get that one, thank you. Uh, I'm liking this. I can just hug the inside all the way through there. Sadly, oh, Liam has to give it a big shot out of the corner. Uh, sadly, there's no slipstream ready and waiting for us. Oh, we've caused mayhem. 
I don't even know quite how we managed to spin that off the corner of Whisker's car in the way that we did. All it took was the smallest of bumps. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> smallest of bumps on the front corner of that car, and around we went. Unfortunately, poor... Well, ladder kind of came off worse as everything all stacked up. A bit weird, it was almost like... I don't know, it was almost like cars were hitting but weren't hitting. It was like the, the effect on the car that did the hitting was the effect, but the car that got hit just didn't seem to be affected by the contact, which is odd. Um, but there we go, that's that's what all of that was. Uh, we're going to get to the inside of the purple machine, but that's a long way around for the next corner, which I don't really want to be doing, and it's three wide at this particular juncture. Uh, we do slightly jump the corner. Admittedly, I would not have done that had there been any room for me to not have done that one. Uh, Ewan is behind. I mean, also... Cars behind aren't too fast in as far as they're going to get a toe all the way down the start finish straight. They, much like me, are more interested in catching back up to the lead group rather than fighting over sixth position. Uh, in fact, we are going to bring them. We're going to bring you, and it's definitely going to be a seven car battle for the lead in no time at all. Uh, this is a, I like this corner. Kind of just this never ending, never ending sweeping corner. It's very good fun when you're on your own and when you can catch people out unawares for a good old overtake through there. Uh, there's some sliding from Brayton and Gliska. Oh, we've got very sideways there for a second lap in a row. That time completely unassisted. That time I just chucked the car in and the back end let go. Uh, not Okay, not quite able to get away with that much speed. I'm overdriving the car a little bit at the moment, and that's never good. You don't want to be doing oh, silly things like that. Stevie had a big... I think it's Stevie. Or Hyper. One of the purple cars had a big wobble on the inside through all of that. Oh, don't let you and get out of slipstream range. We desperately need that if we're going to be able to do much from back here. Uh, it's all getting busy behind us. I think that's why Team Orange are coming to join as well. Can we get a sneaky surprise Team Orange victory? It'll be quite a surprise Team Orange victory, considering uh, what's gone on with this race so far. Uh, they're a little too far back. But yeah, Blakey has come to join the party and is going to get to the inside on the run towards the first corner. We're going to try and cut back underneath for the hairpin which we will do success. I wasn't sure how much room we were going to be given. It's always a, a gamble going for that. The problem is this is the final lap of the race now. And, well, we're going to have to make something happen. Quite where, I'm not sure. We're going to get a good run all the way up the hill. And we're kind of here. Let's not do what we did before. Let's not throw the car in there with too much speed. We'll get past Ewan. A little bit of a sneaky pass almost. Uh, this has got a good run through this next part. It's just all a big group of cars here. Uh, <laughs> Ewan's got not got anywhere to go. I've got not, not got any slipstream at the moment. This has got to the lead of the race. I, mean, I don't know whether you want to be leading coming out the final corner. Whether there's there's not really much room for a slipstream pass towards the finish line. Uh, we're in the middle of a three wide through all of this. I've got no curb to go on, uh, but I have got some slipstream off a danger man's car. Nope, it's just decided not to bother with any of that good stuff that we kind of needed. Uh, some cars running wide behind us. Come on, I need a draft of somebody. Anybody, please. A bit of slipstream would be good. It's not going to be enough, I don't think. They're going to battle one another for this one. We've got a huge tow. It's going to be too late. I don't even know who was alongside me. It wasn't Brazen. Somebody from further back had a really, really big tow towards the line. Oh, it was Liam. Liam with the massive tow at the end there. Jeez, it was close. It was close. I mean, 0 0.01 of a second separated Gliska and Danger Man by the finish finish line. Gliska taking victory. I mean, we were only a couple of tenths further down the road, and we had a big, big toe in all of that one. And that's a good that's a good track, actually. It's a good track. It was a good race with the cars. A couple of silly little mistakes by me. A couple of little bit of overdriven moments. Uh, however, that was some, some good fun good fun racing. I like the club. The club's brilliant. So... For the second race around here, we've gone like a little bit faster. We have the FMJ. Been a while since I uh, have raced one of these. Supercars are always sketchy when it comes to <laughs> when it comes to a narrow race like this. They may be a bit sketchy because they are quick. We've got eight laps around here. I mean, this track's not too bad in in many ways. Oh, let's go. Uh, well. I mean, as expected, a little bit. Too many cars into a narrow corner has led to things going a little bit wrong. Just by the fact that I've come out of all of that in ninth, I'm going to hazard a guess that things went wrong for a lot of cars through the start of this. Uh, it's, once it goes wrong a little bit, especially with a hairpin like that, it's such a tight hairpin as that one, if, if things do go a little bit awry, I can imagine, or we saw how easy it was for sort of, me and Gliska to get stuck almost blocking the track. Oh, no. We've ended up putting Stevie around. Oh, dear. 
Uh, well, that was my bad. I just got a little bit too greedy trying to get to the inside. And that was all it took. Well, it's going to have to be big old recovery drive for me. Eight laps to come from the very back of the field. And there's a little bit like, geez, this thing understeers. This thing's really understeery. Did not expect that. I mean, for sure, that's the thing apparently that happens. Super, super understeery Ford GT. Well, close enough to a Ford GT. I guess I'm going to have to be a little bit careful. There's already been trouble over here. Longbow and somebody else have got tangled up oh, around there. Can we get a draft? Now, having a mistake at the start of the race is not as bad as it could be. I'd rather have an issue on lap one than on lap seven, for example, uh, because this, I mean, there is a chance for us to recover. There's a chance for us to work our way back. We have slipstream and catch-up on the catch-up, probably a little less effective around this track than some. Just the nature of it, it is not the longest. There's no real long straights for catch-up to be super effective on. Uh, the slipstream is, though, of course, still quite powerful. Catch-up will be a little bit effective, just not as effective as some circuits. Oh, that's not the level of speed that we can get away with there. Stinty is going to pass us around the outside. And one of the things we have seen a couple of times, because of those walls either side of the circuit, in most places, anyway, certainly on the outside of corners where a lot of crashes end up heading towards, uh, you've got to be careful. If you spin, I mean, we saw Bumpy at the start of this lap, I was spun and was in trouble, and you got to be careful where cars are going to end up sort of pinging out of pinging out of trouble or get stricken uh, if they are in trouble. Oh, Liang is a little helping hand through there. Uh, it's fine. We are all nicely does it. Oh, mostly nicely does it through there. She lost the back end a smidge. This car does not have as much grip. In some ways, I feel like the club is more composed than this car. Uh, we're going to go around the outside of... Oh, Stingy did not know we were going to be on the outside. It's kind of fair, I guess. You're not necessarily expecting there to be a car there. Uh, we've got a good run, though, through the hairpin. Foxy gets a big slide through that next corner. Uh, we're going to just go to the inside there. Let's not overrun it too much. Angus has overrun it too much with four wide. It's a good cutback from Stinty. Liam just gave us a tiny set of tags on the rear of our car, and that's put us sideways. Oh. Uh, that was a lot of cars into ones, but I didn't really want to take that much speed, but it was either that or we are going to get in trouble from, I think it was Angus. It was the pink purple car, whatever it was on the inside, was going to give us trouble if I didn't take that uh, kind of line through there. We're going to try to duck underneath the black car, but there's not quite the space to make that work there. Can I get it through the next corner? We get alongside, but i got no slipstream to do anything with, and they'll get some curb boosting. Crap. Oh, we are up the inside. That'll be us into 10th. We have fought, we've fought incredibly hard over 10th place in this one. We've bobbled, oh, we've bobbled over the curb. Foxy also got a bit of a bobble on that one. He just kind of pinged the cars together. Tell you what, these things move around a lot more than I was expecting them to. We're almost at half distance, and we're a long way back from the leaders. Now, me and Stinty, now we're kind of out of traffic. If we're clever, I mean, maybe we can run in clean air, set some fast lap times, and try and catch up. Although, that's not clever like that. That's very dumb. Uh, yeah, if we're clever, we could. It turns out I'm just an idiot. Uh, we just got chronic understeer all the way through there. Amazed how much this car understeers. I really was expecting a bit more from it. Um, oh, there we go. That's fun. All right. So there's a big group of cars now. Big group of cars is actually good news for me. The more a big group of them fight, the better chance I have of catching up, pretty much. And the more likely they are to make mistakes. They'll slow each other down. They'll be taking defensive lines, or they'll just be too wide in corners, and you'll have to slow down because there's a car alongside you. All that sort of good stuff. Uh, which is good stuff for me in terms of catching up and good stuff in, in terms of, well, everyone catching up, really. Uh, I'm just, unfortunately, a little bit too far back. I keep sliding the damn thing around. That's a big group of cars. It's a really big line of cars. Okay, here we go. Let's go for a clean lap, if at all possible. Oh, I say that as I'm exploring all of the circuit. I mean, I'm being a little bit greedy, and honestly, in some of these places, I don't think it's actually helping. Some of these places, I think I'm almost cause myself more issues. Right, a little slower on the first part through here is probably a good idea. See, that's such a lovely corner. It's a good corner with these. It's just easier to get a lot of speed when you were driving the club through there. Oh, bigger lift. That's more like it. Nicely does it. Okay, we're going to get lots of understeer through there. <laughs> I don't mind running a little bit wide. We'll use the sneaky little bit of curb boost to help us. Not really able to catch anybody at the moment. As I said, catch up is less effective. On a circuit like this, when it's much more technical, and there's not really the same length of straight. We're not far away from the fight. The annoying bit is, is we can see the fight going on in the distance. I just can't really do all of that much about it. Either this is going to be the most epic final couple of laps, or there's going to be a crash, or we're going to get ensnared with this group. Uh, 
don't know what we're going to have happen here. Well, at least we're in a battle now. We're not going to have too lonely a final couple of laps, but that might... Well, we might struggle to go too much further up the field. Stinty and Lado are coming together. Oh, oh no! We turn in too soon on a funky line. Well, there goes our chances. <laughs> the chances were already slim. And on a funky line, having been avoiding their crash, I just turned in a little bit too soon. I should expect him, at that time I was expecting more on the stair. I just misjudged it. Bugger and blast. We're back to 10th. There's not much, not much we can do here. I got the wrong side of the curb. The car just wouldn't steer off of that one. That's fun. That's what we want. That's absolutely 100% what we want to be doing. Uh, can I get a draft? Can I get a... We need a big miracle now. We were needing a fair size miracle previous. Now it has to be an absolutely colossal miracle to stand any chance of any decent finishing position come out of it. I mean, the group still looks pretty bunched up. Unless that leader... Is, and there's just one car a million miles out in front, I'm not sure. There's a big bunch of cars. Could be a lap down vehicle. Don't quite know. Um, but yeah, there's a massive group of cars, which... I mean, it's not impossible. Okay, so yeah, does that Danger Man has got a decent sized lead going on. Maybe there was a crash or something at some point. <laughs> We're using all of the track a little bit more, and the car is on the limits. <laughs> Very much is on the limits through there. The annoying thing is, I think we're going to have a... F well, I say, well, this lap here is going very, very well if I don't fall off the bridge. I wonder if anyone has fallen off that bridge yet. I feel like there could maybe be a wall just to stop any of that happening. Uh, <laughs> well, I guess if you're pushing the car that hard, it's your own stupid fault in some ways. If I could have some slipstream on this lap, that'd be helpful. Uh, this, this lap has been incredible. I should have driven all of them as well as this, because I think we're going to be gaining nicely this time out. It's just not going to be enough. We're only going to have one more lap to go. And No, don't slide there, you bugger. Is there a chance? I mean, there's always hope. This is the thing. There is always a hope. You know, something might go on. We can pick up some pieces on the final lap, the last ditch efforts from cars trying to make up some positions and so on. That's a huge group of vehicles fighting over second here. Well, we are going to throw the FMJ at the course as best I can. No mistakes time now. I mean, you've really got no recovery. No wiggle room at all here. Can I do anything about it? That is the question. Blakey's out wide. Team Orange is here. Stinty and Liam have been stuck together. And, and just no one's really been able to recover after poor starts here. I mean, me, Stinty and Liam all had terrible starts in this race. And none of us have really been able to recover very well. Blakey's on the outside. I can't take my normal line. Oh, no! Ugh. I think Blakey was trying to ping across the curbs and... Yeah, once the cars got stuck together, I just couldn't pull the cars apart. This has been, unfortunately, a horrific event for us. There was just nothing. Nothing could go our way, sadly. I mean, that is the way it goes sometimes with uh, with GTA 5 races. Danger Man takes victory by an absolute mile in this one. Massive fight for second, and I was sat watching it for most of the time. We had one very quick lap, but I don't know whether it's going to be enough for fastest lap, never having any slipstream or anything uh, during it. Ah, a couple of silly errors. A couple of silly errors, a couple of wrong place, wrong time. Um, and that is a story of that, really. Uh, we did not get fastest lap of the race. Bugger. Uh, it was Brazen up in fifth with a 103.1. Ah, damn it. I was hoping that was going to be like the consolation possible from all of that one. Those cars are really understeery, I will say. They are a lot more understeery than I was expecting from them. They were fun. Once you got the hang of them, they were very, very understeery. Yeah, a lot of wrong place, wrong time, and a couple of silly errors by me uh, is not uh, is not the most helpful. Well, there we go. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching, and thank you to Danger Man for building this uh, tight, twisty, nasty little circuit. Uh, that, though, is going to be it from me. Until next time, uh, yeah, goodbye.